Yes. Because there is a law for fuel, for engine and for environment. First of all, what my feeling is, now for environment point of view and because of the economic issues are so important, we are importing the petrol, crude and gas of 6 lakh yeah. crores. Yeah. So, I was in Stockholm just 10 days before. There were 600 buses out of which majority buses running on ethanol. 95% emission of carbon dioxide and ethanol price is less compared with the diesel. Then biogas from the solid waste, the organic waste and uh, the sewage water, they are making biogas and by which they, they are using that gas for the transport. When, when will ethanol blended petrol be a reality? So I know you've been trying to push this. Have you been able to get the support of the cabinet? When do we actually see this becoming already, a reality? Already the reality is there in Nagpur. The Scania company yes. already started one bus on trial basis yes. which we are using 100% ethanol. Mm. And it is with the my department due course of time. Uh, we are going to clear all the things by which you will get electric bus, you will get biodiesel bus, you will get uh, this ethanol bus and uh, with uh, biogas bus. Mm. And uh, we will use all this waste in the city area for, uh, for the making the biodiesel, uh, biogas and we will run bus services on the basis of biogas. In London, 10 days before, I was in a bus, which was electric bus, yeah. that was manufactured by Hindu Jaji. Mm. So I am confident that within 3-4 months, we will clear all the things and there will be a new atmosphere in the automobile sector as far as the development is concerned, innovations are concerned and at the same time we will encourage the biofuels. We want to reduce the carbon dioxide the, and definitely we want, we need, this country need a good environment. Mm. At the same time we need good technology and I am very much confident about it that our, our industry will cooperate me and there will be no problem for it. Now already.